I'm litty, I'm litty. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, excited. Excited. Uh, Celeste, it's a great opportunity. I mean, cool. It's what you dream of as a kid, you know, uh, just being able to play in the big dance and, you know, going there. We're going there to compete, going there to win. And, uh, you know, Bobcat Nation will be at home cheering and also in San Diego, so it'll be fun. How great was it to see this whole crowd just come out to support you guys as soon as you walked in the arena today? It was amazing, especially on short notice. You know, we probably just tweeted it out this morning or late last night. And just to see the support we have here in town is amazing. I mean, who wouldn't want to have fans like this? Even in Boise, it felt like we had three home games, you know. So we love Bobcat Nation, and, you know, we're going to try to make them proud. Was, uh, was that what you expected, 14 seed playing Texas Tech? Was that something in your mind, at least? I ain't gonna lie, I didn't. I really didn't expect nothing. I just knew we were gonna be in there, you know, uh, 14, 15, 16. It didn't matter, you know. We just cherished the moment and the opportunity to play the big dance. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the projections. You were looking at projections. I guess you probably didn't have time for that. But, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, it, it is what it is. We'll take the 14. You know, uh, we're just happy to be in, grateful to be in, but uh, we're definitely on a mission going down there. You know much about Texas Tech historically uh, or this year? You know, just being, I, I watch Catholic basketball all the time. I know they're, they're a great defensive team, you know, well coached. Uh, they're going to get after it. They're a physical team, Big 12 team. But, you know, I, I don't know much about them, but we're going to get in a very detailed scouting report like we always do and, you know, figure out ways to, you know, attack them and ways to go at them and, uh, you know, just go from there. How much have you dreamed about pulling off an upset? I uh, mean, since I was a kid, you know, since I was three, four years old watching the big dance, uh, guys like Kimber Walker, you know, being from Illinois, watching the Illini back in 05, you know, so, I mean, just dreaming, of, you, you just dream of stuff like this, you know, you want to be the Cinderella team and do whatever it takes to get a win. Uh, and then, I mean, the chicken wings, I know, is uh, something that uh, you guys talked about all year. Um, how, how good does it feel to actually smell them? Today. Uh, they, yeah, they're in the locker room. They smell real good. I mean, uh, we're excited. I mean, we, we, like you said, we talked about the chicken wings all year. And finally being in this point, being in this place to actually, you know, reach reach out and touch them and know it's there, it, it's amazing. Max, when the, when the clock ran out, what was going through your mind? Uh, I started crying. I, I'm not a big baby, though. I don't want people thinking I'm soft. I tried to cover it up, but... I mean, I just, just happy, you know, you, this is what you work your whole life for, just my whole college career, I had a lot of ups, a lot of downs, but, you know, it just felt like everything I put in, you know, in the gym, in the weight room, and, you know, off the court, just finally paid off. Has it really sunk in yet, the whole experience, the eight-hour drive back here, the whole, the whole thing? Honestly, no, it hasn't sunk in for me yet. It hasn't hit me yet. I know we're in the dance. I understand it's, it's huge, but I, I think once we're on our way there, getting ready and preparing and I'm on the court, I think that's when it'll hit me. But, yeah, it, ha it hasn't hit me yet. Next, the first time you guys played Northern Colorado, you fell short in overtime. Second time you played them, you beat them on a three-pointer buzzer. Third time you played them, you blow them out. What was different about that game um, that's a great team. Northern Colorado's a great team. They're well coached. We're probably the best offensive team in our conference. And uh, we didn't we didn't feel those first two games we played defense to our ability. You know, we really harp on our defense and uh, harp on our rebounding. And I felt the uh, championship Saturday we really sat down on defense and locked in. Uh, guys were flying all over the place. We we made we tried to make everything they wanted to do hard, take them out of a lot of stuff. And you know that's what that's what it was for us. It was our defense. We hit a couple shots, you know, thankful for that, but it was definitely our defense.